Is this thing on? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I was full on muted. Of course. Um, hi. <laughs> uh, real quick, we have uh, something to get through real quick. Someone followed us uh, and someone else followed us um, while we were offline. So um, let's do those follows real quick. Much appreciated. We love everyone who follows and lurks and watches stuff. Hi, Jen. I am sorry. <laughs> See, this is why the first question is always, is it on? Is this thing on? Because then I can, you can tell me that you're fragile. You forgot to turn on your freaking mic. Thank you for that. Uh, yes. So Jen also, uh, Jade, uh, sometimes streams and you should go check that out. Um, hi, nice to see you. Uh, I have been granted affiliate status. Affiliate status? Now I don't know how to say words anymore. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, you made affiliate last week. Yo, I never catch your streams. It sucks. Like, dude. And then we talked about, you know, doing something together and when we didn't do that, and that's also sucky because, you know, life is difficult and now we have time difference, daylight saving changes. Since yesterday, my time is, is, is off. So congrats. I hope the mic picks up the applause. Uh, that's so dope. Yeah, you. Go us. <laughs> uh, I have uh, uh, my beautiful friend Kai also represented in chat now, um, has made emotes. The problem is they're not follower emotes, they're sub emotes. So for me to show them to you, I have to use them. So once someone subs or they turn into followers uh, emotes, when I ask at the beginning of stream, like a dumbass because the mic is off, is it on? You can click this and it'll be, it's on fragile. <laughs> So, and then, you know, because I love everyone, we have a heart emote. I love that one too. And then um, we have, just for, you know, reasons, a hype emote. Uh, that one is provided by Twitch, not my artist friend. And last but not least, when we go and take this whole party to someone else's amazing stream, we have, I give to the a raid emote. <laughs> My favorite part is we have now channel points. Channel points are fun and I call them breaking points. <laughs> and it's just the funniest thing. I don't care if anybody else thinks that's funny. I just love that. So that's that. We have emotes and channel points. We also rearranged our uh, background. You remember how I bought a green screen and I'm like, oh yeah, I, uh, I totally want to, you know, have cool stuff behind me, blah, blah, blah. And then turns out my room lighting does just not. Uh, yes, Kai, I can give you their contact and Kai is amazing. Um, uh, I also know their prices. We can do that offline. Um, Yes. So except the hype emote, everything is from them. They also did the, the, the little glass, uh, um, you know, the, the she, I think she uses solely she pronouns. Uh, yes. So uh, the little glass, that's, uh, you know, the breaking uh, is also hers. So that's really dope. Um, by the way, she also made like all these frames that are moving around me um, in case no one knew that. <laughs> uh, and yeah, the only thing she didn't do was my, wait, it's that direction. The only thing she didn't do is this uh, avatar that came from another friend um, who is also very awesome and an artist. And I, uh, um, I uh, credited them. I was like, that's a word, not quote. <laughs> they are credited on my about page. So um but I will get you in contact with Kai, who's amazing, and she'll probably like do those things. Um, yes, and, and you and I, we will absolutely do stuff together, finally. 
<laughs> I even give up a Monday of mine, so when it's Sunday night for you, we can we could do shit. <laughs> I don't know what your stream schedule is because I haven't had a chance to look in a while. Yes, so we have a cool background now that represents the queerness of everything. So we we're going to pause uh, on the green screen for a little bit. Uh, also, I know I promised the stream over the weekend uh, and I had scheduled it for Saturday and then things happened and I didn't feel so well, so I didn't. And then, uh, yes, oh, channel points. I wanted to explain all the stuff we can do with them because I'm excited about them. We can hydrate. We can do a posture check. <laughs> we can stretch. Oh, that really cracked. That was good. Um, you can make me shut the fuck up for a little bit. Um, where I don't get to talk for, I think, five minutes. <laughs> so if I ever have a day where I swear too much, shut me the fuck up. Uh, also, there's an option for no cursing. So that's going to be interesting. Um, add time request. Why not? Posture check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Max, hello. Oh, and with Max in the house, you can see the subscription badge. We have subscription badges. They're little boxes with little Fred uh, uh, pointy thingies that there's up. Uh, the first one is teal because our uh, channel color is teal. The then later in a few months they're gonna be um, purple. And at the one year mark, it'll be rainbow colored. Yes. Also uh, made by the beautiful, beautiful, awesome friend Kai. Yes. Uh, and then we have a real life word ban. So I cannot say one specific word instead of, you know, not cursing or shutting up. Uh, that's just uh, one whole word that I cannot use for a little bit. And then <clears throat> someone can pick where we take this party next if they wanted us to raid someone. And that's, I think, the highest channel point option. Max, my awesome friend, hello. Thank you for showing off the um, badge. Um, yes, and fun fact to anybody who didn't know, the first 10 people to subscribe, and this is not me doing a page to subscribe, but did you know that if you're the first person to subscribe, except for Max, because I fucked up, you get a little founder first emote for the rest of forever because you subscribed as one of the first people. So that's really, really dope. Should I ever make partner, the 15 people after those 10 people also get the founder, but not until then. Yes. Um, who's excited? I am. Oh, hey, Fragile, what did you do on Saturday? Let me tell you what I did Saturday. I got, I got, I got a tattoo. Hold up. I have to switch to OBS to show it because there's a delay. Ta-da. Um, it is a uh, tattoo of a teddy bear wearing a sweater or t-shirt that is has the NASA logo on it. It's in, um, this music is like hyping me up, Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> Teach you all the Twitch things, dude, I'm still learning. I'm like so overwhelmed right now. And I'm worried to play ads because I don't know when they'll be on and all that stuff. It's like ridiculous. Speaking of. <clears throat> Yes, so the tattoo is for my dad because in uh, 2010, we traveled Florida. He bought me a Universal Studios teddy bear. Uh, we went to see uh, NASA stuff at Cape Canaveral and other places. And um, yeah, and it's just like one of the best vacations I've ever had. And it's like deeply connected to me to, to my dad. Uh, I lost that teddy bear after moving out somewhere and the uh, person I had rented from um, had uh, ghosted me um, and yes so I lost it and now I have uh, the tattoo of that bear and it's a little bit changed the original had a Universal Studios theme and stuff but I made it my own and I'll forever miss my dad and now he is represented on my arm <clears throat> anyways he's well not he but like the uh, the love I have had 
for him. <laughs> yes. So this is exciting. Um, what did what else we do? We have. Yes, we're finishing Strange hor Horticulture today, uh, which is a little bit sad. Jen, were you here for for uh, this game before? Because I have to. Sh if you haven't, I have to show you something that's so cool. Um. Um. Yes. So those ads are always two minutes and I should get a warning when it comes on, I think. We'll figure it out. So if anything ad stuff happens, shoot a message in this channel. We wait out the ads and then I keep playing <laughs> until we figure shit out. And I think uh, I always run ads when I start um, stream. Yeah. So. Uh, do we want to get into this? It looks all so different. I rearranged my stream deck. I rearranged the screen. And I'm thinking I should probably get a second screen because then I could have OBS there and the stream manager there in case OBS is a BITCH. 45 minutes, seconds. I was supposed to have a two minute ad. I'm confusion. Shall we try it out? Just, you know, I'll make you the guinea pigs. Max should not see a, 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 a ad because she subscribed and Jen gets two minutes off. I don't know what. <laughs> oh, when you join stream, because <clears throat> my thing is I set, I turned off. So here's a secret. I turned off pre-roll ads because if someone comes over, I don't want them to see an ad at first. I want them to see me, see what I'm doing, who I am. And then they get to, you know, at some point get an ad. Maybe if I'm on my be right back screen or something, you know, because I just because someone doesn't isn't able to subscribe, I don't want them to miss out on something super big. So I'll 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 put I'll put an ad on in, in three, two, one, bye. I don't know if it's working. <laughs> I pushed the button. Oh, cool. So now I get the information. Pre-roll ads are disabled for 62 minutes. That means after these two minutes are over, we should be fine for an entire hour without ads. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to twitch. <laughs> also, if there's currently ads, and I don't know if they are, then... I shouldn't say anything of substance. Now it is? Now it is what? Oh, you have ads. Nice. Oh. Hold up. I don't know if she can still see me. <laughs> oh, look, I have a little sub gifter badge. <laughs> Also, did you know that I'm a subscriber long live log of my own channel? They do that. Isn't that cute? Um, <clears throat> it's only one ad. Yeah, Max, you should be able to see me because as a subscriber, you don't get ads. And Jen got... Okay. See, thank you for being my guinea pigs because that means that despite the fact that I said on my stream deck through um, the plugin for Twitch set two minutes, I only get 25 seconds. So my theory might be that because I'm on a, because the pre-rolls worked and stuff, maybe that's a thing. I don't know. I think they limit it. Anyways, now we know. <laughs> oh, can you also hear me? Or just like tiny me's talking? I don't know why I did that. Let's just leave it at that. Um, yes, so <clears throat> enough about me and my tattoos and my excitement over the weekend. Um, shall we play? We're going to pause this. We're going to switch to this. Is it switching over? Shoot. I really need a second screen. Yes. Um, Okay. Uh, maybe I can pop this out? No, what did I do now? I don't know, kids. Let's not. Okay, let's move this over. Hold on. I'm getting the hang of it. 
uh, yes. Okay. Uh, but then I don't see this part. I hate it. Can we take take it out? Hold up. Yes, I'm rearranging my layout and stuff. Can I pop you out? What's the situation here? Oh, I moved something. I don't know what I moved. <laughs> this is dope. Um. Hmm. 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 Oh well. <laughs> uh. Yes. Anyways, he's anybody who's coming in later to watch this in the mod have fun with this. <laughs> uh. Okay. Wait. Can we hear the game? Yes, I can hear the game. You can hear the game. Everybody can hear the game. <clears throat> I'm going to do this without you prompting. So I worry that we'll be done with this game in like half an hour. That would be a bummer because it's a really good game and it would be a very short stream. <laughs> uh, okay. Ha, see, Max. Thank you for using Kai's amazing emote. Isn't that cute? Ah, I love it so much. Okay, um, we continue. Jen, have you seen this game before? Because here... Now I'm chewing on my lip like a weirdo. Um, because, because here's that cool thing. It fucking purrs. <laughs> I love it so much. <sighs> oh, shall we? Okay, let me update you on this game. What happens? We are towards the end, so we're finishing it today. <clears throat> if that is a spoiler to you, I'm so sorry. Because I would highly recommend playing it. Basically, how this game works. It's called Strange Horticulture. Our uncle has died and we take over his shop. And... Um, at the beginning, we have like about five plants or six. And over the course of this game, we get more and more. We are not familiar with them um, because it was our uh, uncle's um, uh, shop. So what we're getting is uh, more plants and more entries into our little um, uh, strange book of plants. There is also a mystery going on. Uh, some lady in the woods got killed. She was the... Um, the leader of something that sounds like a covenant of witches, to be honest. Then also a cult leader showed up and was like, we want you to join, thank you. And then they were bitchy when I didn't, because cults are creepy. <clears throat> Between days, we get like little hints as a progressing story. Basically, the story um, was that there was a um, young girl who hid a book she always like went back to that book and, like there was a draw to it and she ran away from home she then met someone and learned all her craft and then she killed the woman if i'm not mistaken um so we're on day 15 meaning we ha get uh this is our 15th um little hint or 14th yes uh we can explore our area we always get a will to explore first off it fills up uh through time or through um, actions also, if we make mistakes, we get rising dread and we have to like unlock our mind or something. Um, I hate it here. Why is this doing that? So I always have a control stream going. And yes, it's there. Whew. Um, because I, I, I worry that I get disconnected from stream and that happens a lot and it just annoys me. Um, and then it's distracting and that's just not good. Um, there we go. <coughs> so, and people come into our store and they're like, oh, I can't sleep or, or I dream weird shit. <coughs> and then the uh, more often they arrive, the more we get to know them so we can click on bios. And these are all the people visiting me. Funnily enough, one of them is dreaming of the lady with the jade mask. And I thought, you know, jade mask, you would like that. Um, which is funny. And she rocked up actually in our 
um, store ones, which is why we have uh, interaction with her listed. Um, and I think she's actually a bad person. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, let's um, solve this puzzle. We have drawers here. We can also make little tinctures. I think that's kind of like the rundown of the game. <coughs> Sorry. Um, decay gives way to new growth from death life. Um, the cycle starts again west of Wither Scar by the river. West of Wither Scar by the river. <laughs> Oh, wait, we're going to do a thing real quick. Just because. So we have this thing that reveals hidden writing. The cycle starts again west of White Scar. Wither Scar. I can't read. Uh, by the river. White Scar. Okay. Excuse me. White Scar by the river. This is with Barrow. Back Barrow. With fell. Wait, is White Scar a place? White Scar. West by the river. We we solved the puzzle. <clears throat> the sun bleached skull fixes me with its black eyed gaze. A reminder from the chest of the skeleton a plant grows. That's some stark shit. We we got a new plan. Ah, I'm gonna miss this cat. Okay, let's put this away. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Oh, by the way, I have my monitor back, the one that broke, and I haven't tried out if they fixed it. Fun fact about my life. Um also, if anybody wants a really cool two-player puzzle game, I played one yesterday with a friend of mine, uh, TikTok, A Tale for Two, highly recommended. You don't even have to be online, just be able to chat to each other. Um, okay, 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 okay. So we have still stuff to solve. Is this still a thing we solve? The Woken Dendru is loyal to the summoner who becomes its master and then... Um, uh, so, okay. We know that there is a um, a place, like a, some sort of sacred place, where you have to place five plants. We have figured out the plants, and I wrote that down because I am that kind of puzzler. And of course, I don't know where those notes are. Yes. <clears throat> I think we still... So we don't have a devil's nightcap, but we need one. Um, the second one is probably the sniff swift snare. We were not sure. Then the widow's woe is probably the third one. Long Verkund is the fourth, and Elder Finium the fifth. We do have uh, three of those plants. Um, why are you over here? Uh, last time we played, I sorted them all by alphabet. That was fun for everybody watching. They probably fell asleep. You're welcome. Um, so we have Elder Finium. We do not have the Widow's Woe. Wait, you're in the wrong place. Nope, that was too far. Oh, pick where S T. S T. Yes, we don't have Widow's Woe. So let's cross off what we do have. Elder Finium. Um. Yeah, and uh, our beautiful European friends sent me a message going, uh, saying that they're very sad with the um, time change. They cannot join on Mondays anymore. And I agree. It's, it's a bummer. But I hope they get around to watching the VOD. Um, we don't have Widow's Bow. We still need that. Do we have Swift Snare? I think we do. R is Swift. Nope. Why are you here? You're an H. Nope. We also don't have that. So we don't have three of them. 
uh, two of which we are unsure. So it's like a whole thing. <clears throat> and I think if we have those pl five plans, um, we solve the mystery, save the world, and we're done with the game. Let's uh, try and figure that out. Why is my test stream not working? Am I still streaming? Am I here? Is it on? <sighs> Yeah, it doesn't show me it's live. I'm just gonna talk into the void. I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, I'm here. Yes. Thank you. Validation of my existence. Thank you for perceiving me. Uh, I really have to come up with a good way to test stream. <laughs> Thanks, you do. Um, posture check. You keep doing that to me. <laughs> Don't spend all your big bucks on that. <laughs> I would save up for, for, for the shut up uh, fragile or the no cursing one. That's going to be difficult. Okay, uh, let's uh, have patrons. <coughs> oh, letters. Hello, sir. I've lived in Undermere all my life and I've never seen the people as worried as they are now. Makes sense, there's people dying. Um, everyone's talking about the sisterhood and the servant. The servant is the big bad, by the way. <laughs> Hype. Yeah, that's cute. Uh, somebody needs to do something to stop the beast. Yes, that's the goal. I have three out of the... F I have two out of the three, f five plans. We're getting there. <sighs> Oops. So he's a friend who's always sending us stuff. Um, I was speaking to a woman from Arnsta uh, Arnside. Yes, I can read. Who told me of a cave nearby that the locals stay away from. Apparently there is a strange plant that grows there, but the cave is believed to be haunted. Unfortunately she was vague about where the cave was. Somewhere to the east was all she would say when I pressed her. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. Does he send secret stuff? Nope. Um, Arnside, somewhere east in a cave. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I've looked at this map so many times and every time I don't know what's going on. What? Or, uh, no, that's Ambleside. I oh Arnside somewhere east so that could be anywhere here lol it's on the freaking map let's go there <clears throat> there we go a thin crack runs down the rock face widening as it nears the ground just wide enough for a man to slip through but there's a problem. A large boulder blocks the entrance. Too heavy to move. Farmers worry. Dum dum dum. I'm surprised how easily I'm able to roll away the boulder with the help of farmers worry. As my eyes adjust to the darkness, I discover several clusters of fungi growing there, reaching out desperately to the thin strip of light provided by the crack. So we have another book entry, which is dope. Twilight Lipodia? Lip, 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 Piota? Yes, words. Um, and then also two plants. Get out of here. Uh, and they are shrooms. That's good. Maybe one of them is the uh, nightcap that we need for our thing so this goes into the archive because we solved it that's beautiful um night cap is one of the ones we need hold on it's not listed oh no wait hold up it's called devil's nightcap need both of them um Oh, it's like a full-on plant plant, not a shroom. That's a bummer. Uh, is Widow's Woe a shroom? It's 
Set to induce Kim, uh, dainty flower. Nope. So none of these are shrooms. But we have these to, um... Hmm. Anywho. So she's our librarian friend who lies to us. I haven't forgiven you for what it was that you gave me the other day. Yeah, I, we gave a truth serum because the lady kept shit from us. I should have destroyed that elixir recipe when I had the chance. Yeah, bitch, you should have. Whatever happens, you must not allow it to fall in the wrong hands. I think we kind of burned that bridge, huh? Sorry? Oh yeah, so we, we can make elixirs with the plants. We have uh, these four. One of them is basically able to kill people, if I'm not mistaken. One of them makes people talk to us, uh, speak the truth. It's like really dope. Hello. Have I met you before? I'm terrible with names and faces, so this is great. Uh, my wife of 30 years has died. Oh, that's sad. That is the truth of it, as painful as it is to say out loud. The doctors say there is nothing they can do, but I cannot sit by and wait for it to happen. Fair. A man at the hospice let slip about a plant-based elixir. I don't think he meant for me to hear it, but I did, and it's all I can think about. Understand the risks, but any price is worth paying if it means she doesn't have to die. Oh, we don't want to kill her. Please, I'm begging you. Well... If I'm not mistaken... That elixir um, was kind of bad. Um, let me check real quick. It did something weird. Do we not have like some sort of book where all the elixirs are explained? Um, that's the Baylock one. That's the Elixir of Control. Nope, that's the... Hmm. Yeah, I think it was, like, bad. I think it, the, the Elixir was something along the lines of they seem to be alive, but they're, like, empty or something. Um, so not something I would want for my loved ones, but who am I to... I just hope that she gave consent for him to give her stuff that makes her awkward. Elthi, Elthia, O'Shea, O'Sh. What a delightful shop you have. I'm only in town for a brief visit, but I heard I might be able to get hold of some life li liver stone here. Do I have liver stone? I don't think I have liver stone. Wait, isn't that also like a bad thing? No, that's. Uh, um, Gelstones. Nope, we do not have that. Okay. Liver stone. Caution is advised when handling this plan due to the strong paralyzing agents contained within. Bitch, what are you complaining with that? The liver stone is a mushroom which pointed cap. Caps. Hold up. We just got one. Do we have another one that looks like that? Yes, we do. Fork me. Dark and imposing, strange, but I think I just feel slightly numb. Have fun with that. <laughs> Be gay, do crime. Um, cool. More, more entries. Uh huh. Wait. Oh, that's the that's the f final thing, and that's for the. F I'm not sneezing. You're sneezing. Oh, there she is. Jen, look at her. She wears a jade mask. I can't control it anymore. This has all gone too far. I, I never meant for it to turn on my sisters. It's too strong. I, I'm trying to hold it back, but it wants to kill. That's all I, it wants. Death, death, and more death. Mm -hmm. You have to help me. I mean, do I? Uh, 
Ähm I think Widow's Woe was what we don't have yet, is it? Um Dainty dark flowers grow from a bed of long thin leaves. So they're dainty and dark, aren't they? Damp smell. Hold up. Uh, unpleasant scent. So do we give her something that might induce fear or do we give her something that strengthens the mind I think this is like a, one of those pivotal storyline moments you know what balls to the walls because it also means that we are now we now have the um, we are now um, three down, one to go for the, uh, for the five plants we need to end the world or stop the ending of the world, depending on how you want to look at it. Wait, that's a D. D, you go back here. Um, G, C. Did someone rearrange my shit? Okay. Uh, nice. Next one. I wonder who she's gonna give fear to. <clears throat> There's been talk over the last few nights down to Royal o down to Royal Oak of a servant creature going around slaughtering people. Wow, you're catching up quick. I used to enjoy walking in the hills, but I daren't leave my house now. That's a word. I've decided to bring nature to me in the meantime. Smart. He knows how sheltering in place works. Love that for him. The glow of a few pixie lambs would surely warm my heart. Glow horn. I think this is the one, isn't it? We've been wondering about the glowy shroom for a while. Forest lantern, pixie lamp, phosphorescent illuminated trees. The only reason I haven't labeled it yet is because there was no point in the game where I could verify that's actually the case. Okay, maybe it's not going to take half an hour to finish this game today. Um... Hold up. Yes, I'm one of those people that so, uh, suddenly ignore the room when they get a message. You're welcome. Um, yes. Ta-da. Um uh, where was I? Yes, let's keep going. Hello, Faye. Isn't that a cute name? I understand it now. My mind is linked to the servant. Oh wow. With the elixir I will be able to throw out the woman in the jade mask and take control for myself. Bitch, I'm not sure we want to do that. Together we can end this. Meet me at Daughter's Stone Circle tomorrow and bring the elixir. No. Also, what elixir? Huh? 
we don't have all the plans for that yet we we're still missing two unless i have them and just don't know What if I don't go? Yeah, I don't know why the alphabet has all of a sudden turned around on me and stuff just is not where it's supposed to be. Liverstone, you're in the wrong place, girl. Yeah. Um. Maybe we do have we do have all the plants. So I think this is Deadman's fingers. Carnivorous Torin, known in the north as Andrew's Bane, after the unfortunate demise of a man called Andrew Jar Jardin, Jardine. Uh, if you want to say it French, it makes sense too. He was caught and slowly eaten alive by a large specimen of the Torin, revered, revered in occult worlds. A cross section of the Torin stem reveals pentagonal symmetry. That's cute. I don't know. Um. Um. Okay, we do have some that are not yet labeled. Quite a few, actually. Um. This plant known colloquially as corpse friend, if ingested as a seed, it will cause slow agonizing death and the plant will grow out of the body once diseased. Hold up, hold up. Which one did we grab from, from, from the corpse? Hydrate. Thank you. <clears throat> um, I see people have fun with the breaking points. I love that. Oh. <clears throat> uh, shit, what did we... It has light, pleasant scent, not as similar to pine needles, boiling the root and vinegar. Shit, which one was the plant that we got out of the sternum of the corpse? Because that might be actually the... That could be the Neville's nightcap. Oh, you have to go down here. Somewhere. Not quite. Hold up. Yes. Um... Shit, I forgot which one it was. That's just dumb. Someone go back, watch the VOD. Sweet rhubarb. Is it this one? Rather unpleasant scent. Nope. Pleasant fresh aroma. No, but it doesn't match the... 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 the, the. That's also not it. No. Hold up. We found the devil's nightcap, bitches. I'm sorry, I said a bad word. I don't know why I said that. That's just stupid. Let's label her. Um, devil's nightcap. Fun fact, I do not know what elixir she's talking about, by the way. So we have a bit of a problem. <laughs> I mean, I think I might know. I don't know. Um, no. That's the one where you remember everything. The one that I find absolutely creepy. Elixir of control, the link between servant and master, not fully okay. Yeah, so we do have that. 
Love that for us. Um, By the way, nightcap. Um, do we want to meet her, though? I mean, okay, here's the thing. The jade lady, who is currently connected to the servant, is like, I can't control it, yada yada. Faye rocks up. She's like, I'm going to take it for myself. Give me the control. I'm like, do I want to? Do I really want to? I don't think I do. So I'm not going to meet her and we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll drink it. Who knows? Um, Swift snare. Hold up. Is that in our book? Yes. What does it look like? <sighs> the binder, ankle grabber, and never let go are ne several names given to this plant that may give some clue to its properties. Once ensnared, it is possible to extricate oneself without help. Swift snare has small, Swift snare has small, small, small heart-shaped leaves. I can talk. I don't know why I do that. It's every freaking. Okay, kids, I think we have all five flowers that we need to bind. Um, hmm. But here's the other thing. I don't know why I could just close that. I wanted to push here. Um, you know how there's still space in here? I just don't want to go to the circle and be like, five plants, bye. I want to keep playing. To the east of the castle, across the river, and through the mountain pass, it grows at the edge of the wood. So that's the clue for the night. She finally had the power she had craved all these years, a servant to do as she willed, but that power came at a cost. The servant was awoken, and it would not be contained. It was the dendru, the dread, it was death. Ooh. I think we're at the end of the story, too. I don't know. But I don't have all the plants yet, and I don't know how to get them. Saturday, day 16. Is it raining? Because it always rains. It's not. Okay. To the east of the castle, across the river, and through the mountain pass, it grows at the edge of the woods. Castle. East, through the mountains, edge of the woods. Through the mountain pass, hold up. Do we have other castles? We probably have other castles. There's another castle. East. Across the river, because here was no river. I, I, I know things. Castle, river, mountains, edge of woods. Here goes nothing. <clears throat> the trees sway effortly in the, effortlessly in the cool breeze. The low hum of crickets chirping rides the wind. Okay. The low hum of crickets chirping rides the wind. I love this, but I don't know how to read. A sense of calm washes over me, and I'm rewarded with a new find. I always read friend and fiend at the same time. Oh, you cute! <gasps> shit, that has heart leaves, and looks like it snares shit. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Girl, are you the ensnare thingy? Hello. It moves fast for a plant. I think we found a swift snare. Swift snare. Uh, I'm always my funniest in the morning. That's dope. So we have all five plants. I don't want to meet the lady, by the way. We're not meeting her. Verona Green. It is time. The servant is on the move again. 
Time to act. Meet me at the ritual site. I hope for all our sakes that you've been able to track down all the plants we need. I have a decision to make. Do I meet Faye Swift or do I meet Verona to f perform the ritual? Bitch, we're going to the ritual. There's just no way. Uh. Ooh. Sleep well. Was nice having you here. Thank you for stopping by. I love you very much. And, um... We talk soon, I promise. I keep saying it and then we don't, but I promise. Good night. Okay. Um. The ritual, the ritual. Uh, to the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak, and the Dendro was ousted from his world. Unfortunately, though, we know what south of the Oak. So we go here. Ladies and gentlemen, and everybody else. Humans and others, I think we are at the end of this game. <coughs> A small stone shrine sits off to one side of the clearing. Five grooves run out from the center of the stone, wide widening into recesses at the base. Five slots for five plants. That's amazing music. Wait, didn't I label this? The suspense is killing me. <laughs> okay. We have the swift snare, the devil's nightcap. Nope, that's one. That one. We have the widow's woe. We have the long varicon and the elderfinium, which we know are correct because we have this thing, where it says uh, the ankle grabber, fearbringer, to lift the curse, black blood reverse. So this was um, the um, antidote to something really, really bad. <sighs> well done, I will take it from here. Ah! Did I just help the wrong person? I stand back and watch as Verona walks around the shrine, muttering soft incantations. It feels like a long time passes before she looks up, but in reality it was perhaps only ten minutes. Nothing's happening. What do you mean nothing's happening? Have we got the right plans? I think so. Perhaps we just need to be patient. A huge splinter and crash behind us makes us all spin around to look across the clearing. A huge creature, its head and shoulders visible above the treetops, is making its way towards us, ripping up trees as it advances. The servant. What was that about being patient? I think we're out of time. At, the, at that moment, the woman in, J, in the jade mask comes hurtling out of the woods at the other side of the clearing. She takes in the scene and heads towards Reuben, ripping her mask off and flinging it into the dirt. Father! <laughs> I knew that one. I saw it coming miles away. Thea? 
Reuben runs towards her and they embrace in the center of the clearing as the servant bears down. I can clearly see the tears flowing down Thea's stricken face as she looks up at her father. I, I'm so sorry, I've been a fool. I thought I could control it, but I can't. It's too strong. Oh, what have I done? She runs towards us at the shrine, bringing out a small vial of red liquid from within her cloak and thrusting it into Verona's hands. It's blood. My blood. I know what to do. But before she can act, a servant bursts through into, burst through into the clearing, sending hundred-year-old hundred ash and elm hurtling as though they were saplings. Do your worst. Reuben looks, locks eyes with the servant and grabs a sturdy branch, running off to the side to draw the creature away from the shrine. The huge beast lunges towards him with a terrifying roar. Reuben brings up the branch as the servant closes the gap and brings it lo its large skeletal claw arching down. The branch splinters and Reuben is sent reeling backwards, but he doesn't have time to regain his footing before the beast is on him, slashing and maiming. Father, no! Thea crumbles to the floor, wailing as Verona fumbles with the stoppered vial. Turning back towards the shrine, she pours the blood into a small cavity at its base and then everything happens at once. The servant makes a desperate charge towards us and I am certain that we are going to be de devoured. But Thea steps forward and raises her arms. Get back, servant. Stop, I command you. The servant falters for a moment, as though wrestling against some invisible force, but it regains control almost immediately. It thrusts one spear like appendage forward. No, hold up. It thrusts one spear like appendage forward and impales Thea through the abdo uh, abdomen. At the same time, a pillar of bright light launches out of the shrine towards the servant and hits it in the chest. The huge beast shrieks and staggers backwards, flinging Thea's lifeless body to one side. There's an almighty thunder clap in a blinding flash of light and suddenly the servant is gone. A patch of charred ground smolders where it stood just moments before. My head is spinning at what has just happened. Did it work? Have we defeated the servant? Friday. With the dust settled and the servant vanquished, I have been able to reflect on the events of the last few weeks. The devastation wrought by an ancient beast was greater than anyone had imagined. By the end, Thea had lost control entirely, as has been made clear from the tales coming from Heverick and Boodle. Without our intervention, who can say what the final toll would have been? In contrast, Undermere has never felt so jubilant, so full of life. All the nervous tension that had built up evaporated in an instant, and the people have plowed their energies into celebrating and merriment. Plowed? Is that the right word? Am I saying that right? They do not know the whole truth, of course. That Thea, the woman in the jade mask, was the one who summoned the servant. In the end, she gave her life to help us defeat it. Rona and I have kept quiet by unspoken agreement. And as far for my as far and as for myself, there she goes. Well, I'm back in the calm of strange horticulture, of course, with Hellebore for company. It's quieter around here, and I miss my friend Ruben. But I'm content, and there are always more plants to learn about and discover. So. We did finish the fucking game in half an hour, like I worried. <laughs> I hope we wouldn't, because uh, I was like talking for half an hour and then we played for half an hour. Um, where are we on ad time, by the way? I don't want to be interrupted. I don't know how this works. Yeah, I really need to learn this. Um, cool. The end. Uh, ending one. Thumb. I guess we can play a couple times and then see how it goes. Because there were parts in the story where, for example, we could have given what's her face, uh, Faye, instead of something to um, close her mind off of her, her nightmares. We could have given her something that enhances them. Who knows what would have happened. 
Um, then of course we could have joined a cult. I always hoped that we could become a witch, not gonna lie. Um, we could have joined a cult. We could have gone with Faye and be like, yo girl, you want that power? Go for it. Uh, who am I to stop a woman with aspirations? <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, one ending. Lovely. Uh, Ruben died. He was the investigator. He was killed by the servant. Verona, the occult scholar, she rarely comes to the shop anymore. She does not say it, but you know she's deeply saddened by Ruben's death. Uh, alive, Bethany Coleman, the sister. In your debt, your actions helped save the sisterhood. Um, Faye Swift. She has not dreamed of the servants since you performed the ritual. Sorry. Uh... Ennis is in hiding, so he was the one who had offered us to join the um, cult. Has not been seen since the defeat of the servant. There are rumors he's living in Rydell Cave once again. Wounded, forced where? Where? Both his body and his pride have been damaged, but he lives. So he came into the shop, um, wanting to defeat the creature. Uh, he survived because we gave him something, but yeah. Thea Ward, we were there when she died. Uh, the woman in the jade mask, killed by the servant, along with her dad. Uh, I had assumed that the jade masked lady is um, the person that we're talking about in the story as we progress through the days, and uh, as well as is somehow connected to Ruben, because he was always like concerned about his his daughter. And I mean, I, I do read and I do write and I have a brain, so I made the connection. Um, and then uh, last person, uh, Isidore Burbage, the barrister, uh, currently pursuing legal action against strange horticulture. What? Are you for real? You suing us for... Yeah, ending one. Oh, I didn't read the center thing. Hold up. The servant is gone, a victory of sorts, but one tinged with sadness after the death of our friend. I hope I, I might pick that up. Uh, credits. Who liked this game? I did. Um, cued. What happens if we click continue? Do we go to the main? Yo, they were credits, I click continue and the game isn't over. <laughs> That's so dope. Because I was like, there's still missing plans and there's still stuff that I haven't done. And I knew that this one is was wait, we've never seen this one before. That's new. Hey, we can finish the Oh, that's so dope. Okay, here we go. Everyone hydrate. Ooh, and um unless you are doing Ramadan, um happy Ramadan. May you be strong throughout the next 33 days month um and then I, it's gonna be around the corner and you're gonna love it aid i i never know how to say it uh, okay <clears throat> have you ever heard of the monastery of the black veil i think it would be interest you i learned of it from a man from raven Gla glass if you're ever in a part of the world you should ask him about it he owns the horseshoe inn on main street so let's go to raven glass Mm -hmm. I wonder if they intended for us to just go to every city on our own, like in between. And I was just not doing it. I am met by a man with a thick black beard and kind eyes who is delighted to have found a willing ear to listen to his stories. You won't find a monastery. Oops. You won't find a monastery of the Black Veil vale marked on any map. They don't want to be found. The monastery was on the edge of a wood. I remember that much. Um, yeah, so uh, we must have been heading west because I could feel the sun 
on my face and it was evening we crossed two rivers um for a while i could follow fall then we followed a river for a while i could hear it to my left as we traveled they left me there in ravenglass and i've stayed ever since Oh, so basically we have to trace this backwards because they left it in Raven class, Raven glass. Um, so we have to add east. Oh wait, hold up. <gasps> no, oh shit! I wanted, I wanted to click on it like closing it. We wasted stuff. <laughs> okay, we. Uh, Swift Snare, you gotta go down here because we have labeled you. Is it S? No. No. Yeah. Uh, we have also labeled you, my friend. C. C. D. Okay. Um, let me put this in the archive. <sighs> Just checking, you know, due diligence. Um, no seed will grow that does not wither. No water will languish upon the river. No man will last forever. Hail, we all wear the blackened veil. Leaf of the story and dark flower of the tomb. Stench of the twilight. Come again? Hold up. Interesting. Shall we do this instead? Okay, I'm gonna park you for a second. Oh wait. Okay, this is the archive. Um, but we can only go there with the elixir, so we're not going to do that. Uh, let's do the card. Um, I'm assuming this is a mountain, and these are cities. And that's where we need to go. Why is it tilted? We hate tilted stuff. Um... Okay. But it's probably a labeled mountain, right? Okay, we just find two cities that are very close to each other. These are too far apart. Oh, these are next to each other. We have a mountain here, a city there. Nice. We found the spot. So we go one, two, three down, one over. <laughs> Love that for us. The sun is low in the sky. I am tired of the long day. I have earned this reward.
This is fun. Um... Ooh, we can actually play still. It's good to see you to to Hellbor. It has been a while. You seem as relaxed as ever, though. Nothing ever phases you, does it? Yeah, I must admit I've been buried in my books and seem to have missed all the excitement. But you still meddled. I hear you and your plans had a part to play, though. We did. I've been collating some information on selection of plans for a little book I'm putting together. Mm-hmm. I was hoping you could help me finish identifying all these plants. Yeah, that's the goal of this game. Let's start with the Moonlight Flower Bella Knox. I've always loved that one. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. And then we're gonna finish this game. Hello. Mm. I meant to grab water and I got cookies instead. Who does that? Oh well. Um. Okay. Bella Knox.
I don't have that. Like, we don't have the content in here. Unless, hold up. So I'm reading the um, Latin names. Because maybe she calls it Moonlight Flower, but um, it would be listed here under something different. We don't have that one. Can I send her away? I guess not. Love that for me. I don't know what she wants. Can I ignore her? Is that an option? I mean, she did betray us. Um, I don't like it. Hmm. 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 So, here's my question. Do I just go places randomly? Hmm. Okay, so what are the options here? I can't... I'm putting crumbs everywhere. Love that for me. Um, I got these at Aldi and I think they're tasty. Milk chocolate. Um, do I have... Oh, wait, wait. Twilight. We have, we have, hold up. I'm sorry, I'm gonna ignore you. Um, Storian, we have something that's called Storian, right? Okay, here's the thing. The dark red fruits should not be ingested. Do we have anything with dark red fruits? Red fruits, long flat leaves. Um, that's probably the Dorian. Dark flower of the tomb. Hold up. Dead man. No. Uh, Twilight. 
the in the twilight where shadow grow take leave and root uh I, blah, I, yeah in the twilight where shadows grow take leaf and root and eye of crow a plant of gloom and despair and dark magic do not be fooled by the pretty flower the smell gives off quite foul um this was what we were th no is it it has a pleasant fresh air no that's not you Unpleasant. Unpleasant? Is that dark enough? Um. No, that's, I just tried you out. Why am I keep doing this? Um, unpleasant scent. Twilight. And the other one is Dark Flower of the Tomb. Mm -hmm. I mean, that could be dead men's fingers. Or oh, what's this? Did they label the shit that we had when we used it in the in the What else do we have that's dark? I forgot where I got these. You know what? Let's just try it. Whatever. Yeah, no, that was wrong as fuck. Love that for me. Okay, so this was incorrect. Maybe we'll break our minds. Let's go. There we go. Thank you. Oh, literally two. Okay. Mm hmm. I don't know why I got angry at that. That makes no sense. Nice. Um, did we get anything cool for it? Probably not. So does that mean we can go um the monastery? It's not labeled. Mm. Wait. The one we made incorrectly would not show up, right? Like it just gets discarded. Oh, let's follow the clue. Um, so we start in River Glass. We go east. We cross two rivers. One, two. Um, oh, wait. So hold up. Hold up. They followed. We have to go backwards, right? So they follow a river. When they came, it was on his left side. But they didn't cross it again. So they walked along here. Whatever, however long is a while. Um, they crossed two rivers eastwards. 
and uh, edge of the woods. But he said he d didn't go through the mountains. Hold up. Okay, I'm gonna write this down so I have it the other way. Was there noise just now? No. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So I got one of my friends to watch NCS Hawaii and um, she likes it and I'm so glad uh, because it's a good show and I want everybody in the world to watch it so it gets renewed and renewed and renewed because here's the cool thing it's fucking gay Hold up I was about to say, Nightbot, have you forsaken me? But there it is. <laughs> okay. So, if they followed the river for a while, and the river was on the left hand side, I'm assuming. So we said we start out at River, Raven, what, River Glass, Raven Glass. Um. Hold up, where's my chat? Um. Okay. So we have river glass. And if this um, we're headed east. And if the river was on his left side while they worked, while they walked. They must have gone south. So now we go north. First. Along river. Um we cross two rivers. and find woods the problem is here for me personally i find um is uh the fact that he does not make any mention of um mountains so i'm wondering would he wouldn't he say, oh, we walked, pa walked past Moon Castle? Monister ca Monister? Yes. You know? But they crossed two rivers. So I'm assuming here somewhere. This is also Edge of the Woods. Three figures, their faces hidden behind black coverings, come out to meet me. The figure on the left speaks first. The monks of the Black Veil know, the, know of the horticulturist. Then the one in the center of the group adds, they will share their knowledge if they receive the payment. The final member of the trio stays silent. Brought you something, fellas. Ooh, that's a lot of book entries. 
The third member of the trio accepts the elixir, and together they disappear in the monastery. Sometime later, they return with a stack of parchment. Bellanox, Umbrella, Burdum, and Demel, and Fool's Midnight, as well as Poliscus. Holy shirtballs! I need to see you first. Um, 58 plants. Uh, Bellanox. High woman person who I don't trust much. The moonlight flower, dark, mysterious, and beautiful, has enchanted people for centuries. It is thought to send people mad with obsessive desire, seductively luring them to their deaths like a siren's call. Mm -mm -mm. We're so small. Spring wax cap. Uh, an edible mushroom with some mild medicinal properties. When dried and eaten, it can help relieve pain. We do have shrooms. Let's see. Um, ha Haverage, Haverage, uh, some romantic soul once gave me a stem of Haverage. I think I offended the poor boy when I gagged on a scent. He took it as a bad omen. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Pretty blue flowers line the stem of this sought after plant. It said that if you give Haverage to your beloved under the light of a moon, full moon you will both live long and blessed lives that's cute uh is that you well they face downward Th those face downwards as well there she goes bye oh no she's not leaving oh is this just really us clearing up having all the plans mm. fool's midnight let's see I know the alphabet. Hello. Uh, Fool's Midnight, used by some as aphrodisiac. <laughs> Though the potent sulfuric aroma uh, is enough to put off most. This dark mushroom has a fleshy underbelly. I have unique sharp taste to those brave enough to try it. Dark. It smells rotten. You really are just clearing the plans. For achievement purposes, I'm assuming. Oh well, we can at least read and feel uh, accomplished. Oh, demo sounds nice. I wonder if that's what mum puts in her tea. I often thought she must have secret ingredient that makes it extra soothing. Oh, that was a wrong one. Demo. 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 This unremarkable flower is related to the common thistle. I must say, not right. Uh, it leaves it. Its leaves are occasionally brewed into a tea, and are used to calm anxiety. Oops. Yeah, we're cleaning up. Maybe that puts our lovely librarian into our good graces. Lesser Mary Doc. I don't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> the round flower heads of the Mary Dock is made up of smaller yellow florets. A single drop of strong smelling. S it's really creepy when you live by yourself and um, hear shit. Flowers are very delicate, the petals fall easy. Round flower head of the Mary Duck is made up of. Nope. Mm, no. Strong smelling sap?
Okay. Yellow, yellow. Is it this one? It does not, not look... Uh, does it look... Uh. Here we go. We died. But at least the ending is there. A shiver travels down my spine. My mind is broken. Can relate. <laughs> Am I... There she goes. Nope, almost. Nope. Nope. Yep. Uh, okay. No. Am I? There she goes. No. No. Wait, that doesn't fit. Does it? It does not. This is a surprise. Oddly enough, it's diff more difficult than it seems. It shouldn't be. I feel a little silly trying all these pieces out. I feel revived. My mind is whole again. Um, do I have to do everything again? No. Okay. Do we have any yellow stuff down here that we have not labeled yet? I don't... Oh, we do get fucked. There she is. Hey, Simona, can wanna come back? Umbrella. Ella, Ella. Sorry, that was dumb. <laughs> when burning incense made from the woody stem can enhance psychic abilities, strengthening the clarity of visions of prophecies. Light blue flowers like rounded tufts, gentle. Oh wait, I'm reading the Aguria. I'm dumb. That's probably Aguria. Uh, umbrella. A powerful balm against disease of the heart. It will... Diseases of the heart. It will not be cure one Ilias. What? It will not be a cure once illness has set in, but it can ease pain and prolong life. Umbrella has a long rounded leaf, has round rounded leaves and a flower that smells of strawberries. So cute. Just gonna move all of them down here so that I have them like you know don't have to scroll left and right like a like I have nothing else to do okay you can go over here um what 
Long rounded leaves in a flower that smells of strawberries. Long rounded leaf. I can read. Evulum. Evulum? La 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 la. The scent it produces is considered overpowering by some, but it's said to stimulate the senses and rejuvenate aching bones. Evelyn has many short pretty leaves. So we have this one. A pleasant, fresh aroma. No. Somewhat pungent, overpowering. Yeah, that looks about right. La la la. It's great when your librarian stops by and does your, does your job for you. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is like exciting or tedious for you all to watch. Um, Penny Bell. The leaves of Penny Bell are chewed by some for hallucinogenic properties, of course. However, it's highly addictive and can lead to sickness and death, of course. Um, I think these are the only ones left that look kind of heart-shaped a little bit. Yeah. Can I move you for a sec? Uh... I mean, also is a bell. I'm dumb, not dumb, but you know. Mm -hmm. My mother often uses burdom leaves in the cooking. She's too stubborn for superstitious superstitions. Burdom, burdom. Isn't that like the uh, uh, a lady in Star Trek Discovery? A thick burdom leaves make a tasty addition to soups and stews. Superstitions, superstitious folk won't allow burdom into their homes as it believes to bring bad luck. Strong and leathery. Living. Okay. Um, who's left? Not many. I mean, I have theories what is what, right? Like, this one is the death, dead man's fingers, this is the carnivorous tenon or whatever. But I don't know if it's... Like, if I label them and then I get it wrong and I don't know where I got it wrong. The Poliscus flower is crushed into a paste to cure coughs and sore throats. This author can attest that the supposed cure does not work. Another herbal remedy for sore throats and do that doesn't work. Oh well, let's see what it looks like at least. Aguria. That's the fluffy shit. Um, sour bandy. Sarabandi. The Sarabandi can help with memory recovery. A large stamen. Hee hee hee. Uh, Pallions. Pallions? Oh. Okay. When you're too quick. Meek do. I don't know that one. Same girl, same. I only work here. <laughs> um, Meek do. The beautiful flowers made up of many smaller florets make this a sought after decorative plant, although it has difficult to care for. 
Maybe pleasant looking, but touching the leaves against the bare skin will res result in painful sores. Do we have that? No. Seventy-seven plans, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody else. Four left. We can do it. Conover historian. I mean, that's not a question. Oh. No. Um. But him. That man's fingers. <laughs> Caldry. Is that the last one? Oh, hold up. That's interesting. It says seventy-five out of seventy-seven. Now I'm concerned. I know how the alphabet works. The use of goldery, blah blah blah. Y'all. Is there something not labeled yet? You're labeled. You get a label. And you get a label. You're labeled. You're labeled. You're labeled. <gasps> Kids, we're missing a plant. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Maybe I label I labeled it so it's not um, crossed off in the book. Cause that was smart, and the uh, game didn't recognize that. Ah. <sighs> Well, that seems to be all of them, you know. I think you've earned the right to call yourself experienced horticulturist. Thank you. Um, I think we're done with the game, kids. One last time. <laughs> I think we're done now. We are. All right. Um, how about we call it? And I'll... Because uh, then that way I don't... You know, last time <laughs> I had so much fun playing. We played for such a long time that I ended up being late to my chiropractors, which was no fun. Um, thank you so much for being here. I'm excited um, that the um, that the uh, stream, that the channel has grown so much that we are now able to do channel points, which is going to be fun. People will be able to grab um, badges if they are so inclined, you know, with their prime, um, with <laughs> with their prime subscription, um, if they wanted to, that supports me. Um, uh, and then, you know, the, the channel point stuff, it's going to be fun. I'm trying to, I, I'll be, I'll be thinking about stuff that is more individualized, more that's, you know, things that are more to what we do and not just like general things i don't get me wrong i i love the ideas that twitch has come up with but it would be cool to also have different have different uh, options so i'm open to suggestions <laughs> max yeah we should raid should we not <laughs> i mean how many viewers are we two is there a point in raiding if there's two viewers um yes okay let's see will you raid with me max <laughs> Just, you know, go over there, say hi. Shall we find someone? Um, who is... 
online. Is Randall around? What is he doing? What are people doing? Hold up, let me find out if there's someone that we follow, that we like, that we want to go to. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, let's put on some music while we wait. Interesting music. Um, who do we want to go to? Um, actually, I don't know anyone who you might like. Uh, I mean, we can go and raid someone who plays Legend of Zelda. That would be cool. Oh, she changed her hair too. That's dope. Okay, how about we go and raid um, Vanna. Vanna? Uh, she plays uh, Legend of Zelda, is a fun person. Um, we just go there, say hi. Um, where is it going? There. Uh, we go there, say hi, follow their rules. Um, Oh my god, I hate when the layout changes, don't you? <laughs> uh, Vanna, where is she? Yeah, um, thank you for coming on this ra ride with me. Um, let's, let's raid uh, with emojis, because we can. It's gonna be glorious. We. No, but first off, I love you all. Uh, take care. Thank you for joining. And thank you for watching this the um, uh, stream and the VOD and for the follows and uh, at some point subscriptions. It's going to be great. Thank you. Uh, what's the button? Take care.